Hey guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day and making some really good trades. And uh, yeah, let's just get into it. I had a nice little chat with the guys in the Discord, asking me some questions, a little chit chat, you know, and getting to know them. Very nice. The voice chat is very popping now. We moved it up so uh, you guys can definitely have some more discussions between each other when I'm at work. And yeah, so basically Bitcoin took a little bit of a dump today. We could see that, you know, we once again, we've reached a $49,170 level and we are getting uh, resistance and resistance and resistance and rejection and rejection and rejection, and rejection after another. And right now, we can see this little bit of a downwards trend line that we're trying to hold a support. Right now, we broke back under it. And now it's a starting to form resistance now and we're back into this resistance box. I wouldn't be surprised if we get a small pump right now, trying to get back above it one last time. But now we got some you know pretty significant resistance at 40 47 uh one five hundred dollars and forty seven uh six hundred and forty eight thousand basically all these psychological levels. Market cipher on the daily time frame is getting a little bit more bearish with the 16 now but we've seen 20 and 17 before and worse and worse and worse and we've getting rallies after that we can see that market cipher b money flow is starting to come back down and the vwap is way you know really extended down right now so maybe a pump up a relief rally could be to very possible we can also see that on a weekly time frame that bitcoin is definitely starting to slow down right now we could see that uh, we got a six on top and a four on the bottom. So we could see that the bears are getting some more strength right now. And maybe a dip back down to 43,000 could not, could, you know, could be very, very possible. We got some very strong support here. I would definitely set some buy entries if we do get back, uh, get, back get back down to these levels. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't be very surprised at all. You know, just because the hash ribbons have flashed a buy indicator does not mean that the price is not going is is only going to go up from here, right? We can see right here in the past that one Bitcoin has gotten the buy signal right here. We've gotten a small dip back down, right? So let's just go to the buy signal right there. Let's say we bought in at the middle of this candle, just average price. The price did come down 7% before it started its massive rally back up to 240%, right? It could take some time before the price starts to rally. It does not, just because the buy signal comes, does not mean it's just a straight up mood shot to the upside, right? It historically has like predicted, like not predicted, but uh, historically, right after the buy signal comes, there is a significant rally: 30%, 50%, 51%, 240%, 309%. <laughs> really significant rally. So this is just my strategy, you know, long term buy at the at the at the hash ribbon crosses, and yeah, that's basically it. But yeah, we can do some short term TA right now. We could see that the Bitcoin price came back down to the 0.5 Fibonacci level. We could definitely come back up to 48,100, maybe 47,700 before we get a rejection there. And then we could probably continue our downwards uh, sell off. We could see that the Bitcoin price is starting to, you know, we could definitely see that it's starting to lose momentum. We could see that it's starting to roll over like, like this, kind of like what we had here back in. Uh, Back in these months right here on a larger time frame, we can see that Bitcoin was rolling over once again and once again once it gets to the to this climax of the rollover. And then we you know when the EMA ribbons cross, it just starts to dump like crazy. But yeah. I don't think I don't know if that's gonna happen this time. But yeah, we could definitely that uh, we get we could definitely consider that as a very good possibility but I'm I'm my target would be aiming for 43,896 maybe basically 44,000 maybe some buy orders there if we break this level we're going to be retesting 41,000 and 40,000 but I'd, I really don't think we're going to reach those levels excuse me I burped again and I burped a lot today at all I think that we definitely have some so some strong buy pressure, with so much money being being printed and injected into the into the stock market. We can see that the SP 500, time and time again, just defying all odds. We have that monthly red dot still with the nine, but we've made a higher high once again. But let's see if we're gonna close this month with the red dot because it's been you know three months now that I've been in the short, and its price just keeps pumping up. 
but we'll see what happens, right? And we can take a look at it on the technical not on the technical chart right here. We can see that the big the the SP 500 once again pumping right back into that wedge. Now we're right back into that wedge, you know, grinding and bouncing and grinding and you know bouncing and then boom, we're back in. Now we're gonna take it <laughs> taking a little dump right now. There's some profit taking once again. But we'll see. You can take a look at this chart right here. This is where my trade I trade my forex. Maybe I'll make a video on that soon. See that the the SP 500 once again just trying to get back into that wedge. And once we're back in, there's only so much room before this, something needs to break down or break up. So in my opinion, we you know this all indicators are pointing towards a breakdown, but. Uh, you never know with the Fed and don't fight the Fed, right? Historically, you don't fight the Fed and September 13 is the last day or you can even do it September 10 depending on where you you, you want to do it. There is going to be a significant move in the markets. And then, by the way, this is not financial advice. Definitely do your own research before you take any action on uh, investing and trading. And uh, leverage trading is one of the risk riskiest tra types of trading that you can do. We can see that Bitcoin right now, finding this trend line that we have right here. But yeah, uh, I'm definitely, I took a little bit of a short yesterday, closed it today on the anticipation of a, another test to the $49,000 levels, but we didn't even get there. And now it looks like the R size bottomed out, but then we might get a little bit of a rally, but we'll see where that takes us. Anyways, pretty tired guys, gonna get some rest, gonna give you guys a morning update. You guys have a wonderful day, make really good trades. You definitely join the Discord, it's free. Love you guys, peace.